the United States is huge and there are so many incredible places to explore as a solo female traveler. It's really hard for me to sit here and say, these are the best cities in the US to travel solo. Cause honestly, like what's best for me may not be best for you. But today I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorite cities that I think are really great for solo female travel, especially if you're doing it for the first time or you're just new to solo travel in general. Hi, my name's Kim and this is K-Rod Collective. On this channel, we talk about all things travel. We are starting off with a bang. Go big or go home. New York. That's right, New York City. If you guys didn't know, I lived in New York City for 10 years. It's one of the cities I call home, and this city is definitely for my ladies who are not afraid to get a little rough around the edges. So I know what you're thinking. I know exactly what some of you are thinking pick up what I'm putting down. Here's why I love New York City for solo female travel. Because of choice. It is so big and there are so many different things to do and what I love so much about New York City, especially for solo female travel, is the choice. The choice is yours. Because it's so big, you can pretty much curate your trip however you want and you can make it what you want to make it. If you've never been to New York before and you want to just visit the highlights, Rockefeller Center, Central Park, Brooklyn Museum, MoMA, you can do that. You can just make your trip solely about hitting the hot spots in New York. Or if you decide, you know what, I think I just want to explore Queens. You can make your trip all about food. The options are limitless. Another thing that I also love about New York City for solo female travel, you can explore it and do it at whatever price point you want. If you want to go luxury and go high, you can do that. You want to go low, budget travel another thing that you can do. And the thing about New York too is that nobody cares and it just, everyone is doing their own thing that you can do whatever you want in New York. It's the greatest, it really is. And that is exactly why New York City, in my opinion, is one of the best places for solo travel. Next up, Louisville, Kentucky. I hope I'm saying that right. Louisville, Louisville. Louisville. Louisville, Kentucky. It's such a cute city and it's actually like, I feel like it's small city, but big enough. I think it is a fantastic place for solo travel. It's so easy to navigate, but there's also a lot of things to do. So this is also the place where Muhammad Ali is from. So you can definitely explore that and see more of where he's from. You can visit his old childhood home. If you love bourbon, Louisville is a place to be. You can do the bourbon trail. You can definitely do some bourbon tasting. Book your tickets in advance though, because those bourbon tastings book out really fast. So you wanna get your ticket as early as possible. So as soon as you know you're going to Louisville, book your ticket. My favorite thing about Louisville is the people. The people that live there, the locals are, they are just the sweetest, absolutely the sweetest. You feel lost. A Louisville local will help you out. They are so kind. I vote. I recommend Louisville as a fantastic place for solo female travel. I want to go now. York, Maine. Oh my goodness. I had this really weird fascination with Maine for a few years and I still would love to explore more of Maine because I feel like there's just so much that I haven't seen, but York, Maine is wonderful. If you live in Boston and you just want to get away for a weekend or if you're traveling to Boston with friends and family and you want to get away from the group for a little bit, I definitely recommend York, Maine. It kind of feels like you've just been plucked out of reality and dropped into a movie scene because that is how perfect York, Maine looks. And it's just wrapped in this beautiful bow. I feel like York, Maine is a really great place to go when you are traveling solo for the first time and you don't want to get too overwhelmed, but you're just looking for a small city that you can go to, get a little R&R, &R, just spend some time with yourself. I, I think York, Maine is also the place where they celebrate Christmas in July. If you're from York, comment below. Oh, I totally forgot. You can go whale watching in Maine. Y'all, whale watching. Yes! You can do whatever you want, make it your trip. And there's this really cute lighthouse. Y'all, I'm from Atlanta, I, I, don't, I don't. I get really excited over a lighthouse, y'all, okay? So, <laughs> San Francisco, California. Listen, San Francisco is quirky, it's vibrant, it's just one of a kind. It's really hard to put into words what San Francisco is like if you've never been there. I do, I, how do I even explain it? 
kind of like Cool Kids Central, but it's not pretentious. One of the reasons why I love San Francisco for solo female travel, for a very similar reason to New York, there's just so much variety, but it's not as big as New York. And so you may not feel as overwhelmed, especially if you're not used to big cities or you don't know how to navigate big cities. It's big enough. It is definitely a major city in the US. I personally think that San Francisco is a really great trip, especially for people who are into organized events and organized trips because San Francisco has so many side trips that you can do. You can stay in the city and explore San Francisco proper. You can also go across to Oakland in the Bay Area and explore Oakland. There's Berkeley over there. I mean, if you want to go over into Sonoma and Napa, wine country, Redwoods are also nearby. Yosemite's right there. And by right there, I mean, you gotta take a bus and you know travel there. Another really great thing about San Francisco is there are a ton of free events. The city puts on so many free events that you can go to. And so if you're afraid of being alone or if you want to somehow meet up with with new people, explore the city, but you don't want to be totally alone and totally isolated, San Francisco is a great place. And some people may not know this because San Francisco isn't really known as a beach town. It's not really known for its beaches, but it's got beaches. And they're definitely the kind of beaches where you don't need to be in your bathing suit in the hot sun. I mean, that's great. Don't get me wrong. Listen, I love the beach, but you can just go in your clothes with a beer, sit on the sand and reflect. So my next city on the list, Greenville is such an underrated city. I feel like Greenville is having its explosion right now and rightfully so okay do not sleep on Greenville one of the reasons why I love Greenville South Carolina as a spot for solo travel is that it is really easy to navigate for me it felt almost like it was impossible to get lost. And not only is it easy to navigate, it's affordable. You're not gonna break the bank visiting Greenville. At least, I don't think so. The parking is affordable, the food is affordable, the drinks are affordable. I love Greenville. I would go back to Greenville in a heartbeat. Some of my favorite places to go and things to do in Greenville are definitely the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Stop and check out the Swamp Rabbit Cafe. It is so cute. You can sit outside, also go to Gather Greenville. It's a food hall and you can just come and relax, hang out. It's a really great place to meet people as a solo traveler. Another place I also love in Greenville is the seafood spot. I love crab legs, seafood, shrimp, fish, the whole nine yards. So good, black owned, delicious. So if you're interested in learning more about these incredible cities to solo travel, in the United States, definitely check out the blog post. I will link it down below. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, comment down below, and let me know where you live, where your hometown is, or where you live, and if you think it's a great city for solo female travel. Hmm. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.